Mina san konnichiwa, anyaseo, bonjour, san bonani, any language that you like. We are back with the Tuxedo cast. We got Mr. Loki here and Sounds by Skywalker, good friend of mine. We have had many different conversations and today we are going to be talking about our feelings and experiences with financial freedom. And of course, we are going to have a wild conversation. Tune in. You might just learn something. And without further ado, Sounds by Skywalker, please tell us what current projects uh, you have out on Spotify. Your Spotify is doing quite well. You've got a couple of IG pages. Tell us, what are you doing? Where can people find you? What is up? Hey, what's good? What's good, everyone? Firstly, it's a, it's always an honor to be on the show and really glad to be catching up and vibing today. Yeah, um, on the Spotify, I'm mainly pushing um, some experimental hip hop some lo-fi hip-hop. I have a new single called Embark, which is out now. And some of the tracks from earlier during the year, like Brimstone, are doing exceptionally well um, globally. So if you like experimental hip-hop, lo-fi hip-hop, check that out. And I'm also pushing spiritual content on meditation, enlightenment, insight. And that's at Abiding Tranquility, if you're into that. For sure, for sure brilliant stuff so yeah abiding tranquility sounds by skywalker dr skywalker you've got a couple of very interesting things you're doing and you seem like a very creative uh person so living this creative lifestyle is financial freedom a big help to living you know doing these creative and spiritual things definitely 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 yeah and i think what's led me to focusing a lot more on the financial aspect is the spiritual journey. So the spiritual journey has focused on pretty much becoming at home in myself, fully accepting myself. So that mental part is like sorted out. The mental, emotional, spiritual sides are sorted out. So now the next step is working with my mental software, (laughs) creating whatever ideal I want for myself and pretty much that facilitates whatever creative lifestyle I want. So whatever I want to do creatively, I need to have the finances to be able to do that. So that's either directly from the creative stuff or from other avenues. So yeah, it's very important. Yeah. Awesome. So mental freedom, spiritual freedom, physical freedom, and financial freedom. Financial. Thank you. Thank you. Being the foundation to uh, yeah, yeah. a lot of these things. If you want to visit the temples, if you want to have just the time to be able to meditate, find yourself, deal with yeah. trauma and all these things, having yeah, the money yeah, yeah. to do it is so, so important. That's and just so being important. your own boss so you can lead some of these projects is very crucial. And there were two books that you recommended to me, The Psychology of Money and yeah. Set for Life, And these are really important conversations uh, to have out there with friends, because if you can crack this, the sooner the better. If you're in your teens, your 20s, your 30s, or even 40s, and you start figuring out a way to achieve some of these things, it could really be life-changing. So just starting with the uh, first book, The Psychology of Money, I really want to shout out the author, uh, and I had it just in front of me just now. Uh, Okay, tell you what, we'll come back to that one. I have Set for Life. For sure, for sure. um, Yes, yes. uh, In front of me here, it is by Mr. Scott Trench, real estate investor, vice president of Bigger Pockets. And on the cover of the page, he says, dominate life, money, and the American dream. So um, please tell me, what are some of the small things, takeaway pieces um, that you liked about this book? I think the biggest thing I've been getting from this book is the mentality. Uh, Most of us are brought up with the mindset of we work for money through our entire life, right? Like it's, it's almost like that's the default and that's just the natural way things are. That's the natural way things go. You go to work, you make money, you pay rent, you pay your bills, you buy nice things that make you happy and that's it. But we never get to the point of having our money work for us. And that's what affords the freedom to be able to do whatever we like to do. So unfortunately, it feels like majority of us are kind of enslaved 
by the chase for money we trapped in the in the pursuit of acquiring money but we never get to the point of the money working for us so that was a big mindset shift and also the book is very systematic it goes through the process from starting at like a simple job earning maybe um earning like a reasonable common salary and working with that step by step very slowly saving changing your mentality about what you do with money how much does your spending contribute to your happiness how much does acquiring possessions contribute to your happiness working around those ideas getting into investing building up your own capital having that grow and as as that capital builds up more and more opportunities open up for having that money work for you acquiring assets that can work for you so i really i really like how systematic it is i really like how practical and doable it makes achieving financial freedom seem and it breaks it down with um very realistic scenarios that almost anybody can relate to and anybody can work with so yeah it's a very very inspiring book mm. nice and then the other book that uh you recommended to me the psychology yeah. of money by morgan uh hosel hosel's observations yeah. often hit the daily double they say things that haven't uh, been said before and they make sense uh, by mr howard marx now mm. these two books together covered some similar topics in a very similar yeah. way and what were some of the other good points that this book also uh, described yeah. that you liked yeah i haven't delved into this book in okay. that much detail but the main reason i found it very attractive is i want to challenge um some of the limiting beliefs i might have around money kind of untangle them unpack them see what's going on in my psyche see what might be consciously or subconsciously restricting the types of moves i'm making so i really want to explore this challenge working towards financial freedom from every angle possible understand it inside out and one idea that stuck out to me recently not even from the book the um, i saw a video where a guy was talking about like we we like when we think of earning an amount of money in a month let's say earning 10,000 pounds or 10,000 dollars in a month that might sound to a lot of people a lot of typical working professionals that might sound like wow that's a lot but if you break it down to something very practical you have a product you sell a product for $10 100 people buy that product and you 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 can start to see like how it's actually doable and you connect those numbers to real people in the real world it starts to it starts to seem much more doable much more achievable and to me that's attractive because you can imagine what value can you bring to people in the world what can you charge for what can you sell how can you attract a, a customer base how can you gradually grow that and how can you continue to scale that to a higher and higher level and opening up those ideas opening up those mentalities it just makes it seem like there's really so much that's possible and there really doesn't have to be a limit it's like um my typical approach would be like okay if i'm earning like 4000 5000 dollars a month like yo i'd be so happy and i'd want to like maintain that and keep stacking that and do as much as i can with that but if you think about just offering value to people and increasing the amount of people you're offering that value to it doesn't have to be limited it doesn't have to be capped there's really really no limit so i like those sorts of ideas just opening up my mind to what's really possible what's really possible what's really doable yeah excellent what i like about both these books if you read them together mm. is they cover mm. concepts that uh, work in synergy together so they mm. really both push living a lifestyle of frugality trying yes, to save yes, at yes. least 50% of your money and yes. this thing of lifestyle inflation as you described starting off with one job and then now working your hardest to try get a promotion 
to get more money mm. to then spend mm. on a bigger house, take better holidays, buy a Ferrari, which are now more mm. expensive things that need more money. So you're constantly exactly. caught up in this thing of having to earn more money to afford a more expensive lifestyle. It's like a trap. Yeah. There we go. And as you mentioned, changing your mindset about money, that you can now earn money to get involved in more scalable businesses where you've got exposure to yes. things that can grow exponentially. So as you said, yeah. maybe instead of your weekends being spent trying to party and do different things or try to feel better mm. about the job you hate doing, actually spend mm. your time upskilling and learning things that you can then scale to do other things. So exactly, if yeah. we're using what you're doing, for example, your Spotify uh, growth and the music you've been making, how these yeah. are things that can, once you've mastered the skill, it's these are things that can continue to earn income once they've been produced. Whereas if you work for a company, yes. you work for them yeah. once and they pay you once, but you need things That's that can be true. scalable and growing. And That's these two true. books really, really uh, push that. Also in terms of cash generating assets, uh, Scott Trench's book also speaks of house hacking, of how you mm. can buy a property to then rent out. So, mm. or maybe buy a vehicle that then to use for Ubering or delivery, yeah. so that sort of thing. And just this idea yeah. of buying things that generate income later, instead of just buying expensive yeah. things for flash to impress people who maybe uh, don't yeah, necessarily yeah, yeah. like you, they like the things that you have. And those, yeah. both those books almost really, um, if, even if you can just read the book summaries, they you get the vibe. Yeah, yeah, the general idea of how a lot of the way, the life you're living, you, the way you've structured it, um, it's been structured to give you certain things and frustrate you in certain ways, but you can mm. rearrange things in a different exactly, way, make exactly. life work a bit yeah. differently. And that's something yeah. which when I actually read it and was now more conscious of it, I was actually, yeah, yeah I don't need to be eating at restaurants every single day. If I can make yeah, the effort yeah, yeah. to yeah. learn some things that can actually uh, make the world around me better, then yeah. uh, there could be a big benefit to that. I believe Scott Trench's book also mentions how even when you get a job, try live as closest to your job as possible and yeah, try only have one vehicle um, yeah. so that you spend less time uh, commuting and you're living yeah. your life more efficiently. And the Japanese yeah, yeah, yeah. concept of Kaizen and organizing yes. and setting things in yeah. a certain way and yes. uh, concepts such as the motion economy of aligning yeah. things in your life to work in the utmost efficient way. So yes. it creates yes. more time to do other things. So yeah. I think right now these are such crucial skills that can really be life-changing. And I know it Definitely. sounds so cliche and cheesy to say this is life-changing. But if I could have known really some of these so. things 10 yeah. to 20 years ago, it would have saved yeah. me a lot of time and frustration. Really, really. So uh, for our viewers yeah. out there, please, um, if you have any uh, financial freedom tips or tricks, I am in no means an expert. I would love to discuss it further. And yeah. how are you uh, finding your financial freedom, I think is the main thing. And my next question for you is yeah. this concept of financial freedom, it's, um, it doesn't seem like an end point, but a continuous journey of something you continually, continuously improve and do more. If you could have yeah. more financial freedom, what are some of yeah. the things that you would do? Um, I think I'd just really be, I just have the, I'll be able to do as much as I want creatively without having any sort of pressure of, I need to make money through this. I need to make money through that. At heart, I'm just, I'm really a creative person. And I thrive in just very free, very open, creative expression. And pretty much that's, that's my life goal. <laughs> that's all I want. So for me to, for me to be able to have an environment where I can create freely, I need to have that financial freedom. So most likely once I have financial freedom, I'll, keep making a lot of music so it's not like i'm just gonna stop and be lazy whatever keep making music keep releasing music and that generates income that keeps making money so i'm very happy to keep doing that and i'll be making spiritual content as well um regardless of financial freedom or not these are things that i'll continue to do 
and continue to grow as much as I can. And I'll be starting a business in the wellness and meditation sort of sphere, hopefully quite soon. And I think I'll definitely continue to, to work on that. And if I can help people with the things I know, with the experience I have in terms of well-being, wellness, meditation, um, that'll make me very happy. So that's pretty much my mission. Yeah. Excellent. And just a reminder, if you only caught us now, if you go to the Abiding by Tranquility IG page or Sounds by Skywalker, if you want some lo-fi and just something to vibe out to, and I believe your uh, uh, collaborator who you worked with, uh, Gao the Arsonist, yes. Uh, yes. his song uh, Bleed released an animation yes. recently. And yes, yes. I believe he's doing, uh, he, he's getting some great exposure uh, with the projects well, he's doing. Yeah. So just being yeah. within the creative community, I see is uh, uh, quite, quite, uh, quite an interesting thing. Many, many different things you can make. And Definitely. yeah, I believe that's our conversation for today. Viewers, if you enjoyed this episode, please like, subscribe or comment below. We love that you are watching this content. And if there's uh, someone you'd like me to speak to, please let me know. I'll reach out to them and have more content on the way soon. So that's Mr. Loki signing out. And Sounds by Skywalker, anything else you'd like to add? Oh, thanks a lot for having me today. It's really inspiring that we can, we can talk about these things and motivate each other. And I really like how you summarized and articulated like the main points that are really inspiring from those books. And I'm really excited to see what we can do over the next few years. And everyone who's listening to, it's gonna be very inspiring to see how we can all grow, how we can all level up and have the freedom to create the lifestyles that we want for ourselves, exactly how we want them. So yeah, let's get in. Many thanks, many thanks. And that is us signing out.